Greetings, everyone. Dominic, how are you? I am great and grateful. How are you doing? I'm good. I did leg day today. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking on this leg day. <laughs> yeah, I did upper body. Uh, I did a push day. I did chest, shoulders, and triceps. And uh, safe to say, anytime I go reach for something, you know, <laughs> Man, I don't know what it is. I realize that every time I, I do chest day, I've realized this in the past three weeks. Every time I do chest day, I'm like extra sore. And like I, I just take long naps the day after. But the, the leg day I did today, because I tried something new, right? I yeah. said I'm going to maintain my weight. So maintain the heaviest weight that I've been going. But usually I will do that at like um, eight to six reps. But I decided to do that at 15 reps for some reason. I don't know. I was just feeling myself. So I went really heavy at 15 reps, maintaining proper form, of course. And I just had to take a nap after the gym because I know I'm not going to be able to walk tomorrow or on Monday. But it just is what it is. It's, you know, got to take one for the team. Being swole ain't easy. You know, I'm trying to tell you. Being swole, you know? know, it does. The summer is approaching. We're almost there, so you know we gotta we gotta get it right. Shout out yeah. to Celine. Thanks for being in here, Celine. Happy Saturday. I see Beth Sua in here. Beth Sua say, "Hey, Shan, Dominic, and Chat. Cool gamer, always in the building. Pick up yourself, cool gamer." Mona and Ricky, always a pleasure seeing y'all in here. Thank y'all so much for pulling up. So every Saturday we talk about health and fitness. We drop tips on how to get, um, how to lose weight and stay there, how to maintain being healthy. This week is a little different because we're talking about when your weight, when your spouse gains weight, and how weight gain affects relationship. Now. <laughs> I have to give a disclaimer. Even though we're experts in fitness, we're not experts in relation. Well, I'm, at least I'm not. I don't know about Dominic. I'm not no expert in relationships. Hey, look, look. I am nowhere near an expert in relationships. If I was, I'd probably be married, happily married by now. So, hey, you know. So, we're just having a conversation, y'all. We're having a conversation to um to encourage people to think about things differently. As I always said, we're having uncommon conversation, Right. Encouraging people to um to to think of things differently. Celine said, "I'm watching this eating a cookie." Child is your cheat meal. It is like it's the difference between me and Dominic. I'm always like, "It's okay." <laughs> Dominic is like, <laughs> "No excuses. We can't we can't let that slide." Celine, come on now, <laughs> come on, put the cookie down, put it down. Well, I'm like, it's okay, sis. It's your cheat meal. <laughs> But um, yeah, y'all, so we're having a conversation to encourage people to think differently, you know, think outside of the box and um, certain topics, especially when it comes to weight gain and relationships, um, it's usually swept under the rug and um, women get so sensitive, even though this is about both genders, I find that women will get so sensitive when their significant other talks about their their weight um you would know more than me is that your experience or what you've observed dominic yeah it has been my experience and um and they you know the experiences are very quick and they don't last too long <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah it's it's even as simple so i've heard some men will say even when you try to um to encourage your significant other female significant other to to go to the gym or you know to work out they will it will be an issue it's like pulling tea to have them to work out but i mean you know, this is why we have the conversation ladies if you if you if you want to be the best version of yourself to understand things from men's perspective and see um see where they're coming from when it comes to relationship and dating and um fitness Rhea in the building Rhea said height weight dress size <laughs> shout out to kevin samuel it might be Man, one of the conversations <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie when kevin samuel when i first um heard about kevin samuel i was listening to him and he would always ask height weight dress size i had to go into my closet and go find out what's, what's my dress size because i'm I need to get it together. But it's like things like this we don't think, as especially as women, because society is panders to us. It's like, oh, you're okay how you are. You know, you look good thick. We talked about this before. You you look better with a little with a little flesh on you until you get like this, and then no, they want to have a problem with oh, it. Oh Lord. 
<laughs> I can admit, I didn't even know my dress size before listening to, um, to Kevin Samuels. But personally, I try to stay at a dress size six or four. Personally, not telling you what to do, but personally, I'm not going above a dress size six. So, I mean, height, weight, dress size, it is important. But anything you want to say before we touch on the, um, we show the videos? You know, it's so funny about about his broadcast. When I would watch him, uh, when I hear the women talk about, uh, I'm a size this, or I weigh this, or I do exercise, or this, like, it was a woman that said she had a 25-inch waist, but she she weighed this much, and, like, she had a, and it was just like, that don't anatomically doesn't <laughs> make sense. <laughs> it don't make no sense. You look like, girl, you just showed a minute ago. You're like... Come on now, you know you gotta. You, let's be let's be real here, and you know sometimes I just laugh because I'm like, man, the personal trainer in me can't help but like spot out these lies. The um, some of them will be like, oh, I'm a I'm a dress size twenty, but it, I look good though, and you're like, I'm I'm a dress size six, but I'm one seventy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't make no sense, you know. I, oh my god. Yeah, man, that, it don't make no sense. Yeah, it don't it don't add up. The personal trainer in us can who can do the math, and as we talked about in previous weeks, you know, weight loss, um, being healthy comes down to a science. So it comes down to math, and math don't be lying. And of course, some people at one seventy can look completely different um, than another at one seventy. But like when women call it because they always use serena williams as an example you know serena williams is like how much she weigh but she she doesn't you know she's not necessarily fat um so they'll always call in they don't work out they they don't eat healthy but as dominic said they're, they're 170 at a dress size four and you're like mm. there was this one girl who was like she's a dress size zero or something like that and i'm like if you're gonna lie at least make it believable like <laughs> at least make it believable but what I always say is lying about this is not going to change the facts. Like, you know, you look in the mirror and you know yourself. You know what it's, what it really is for you. So to lie about it and to pretend as if you are um, fitter than you actually are, like it's just doing you a huge disservice. I'm looking for this video. I'll show this video real quick. Wait, how do I? Okay, yeah, this one. <laughs> it was you who sent it to me, to, or I sent it to you. Somebody sent it to somebody with this young lady. And when she was like, wait. You mean the club early? Because men are fucking shit. I'm in the fucking drive through of a Jack in a Box on my way home and to go fucking eat my feelings. Like, what the fuck? Like, like in her head, and she is. This bastard is I'm sorry, I cut her off when she was saying that she's a ten. In her head, she's a ten, and it just reminds me of the woman who were calling to Kevin Samuels. It's like you know, avoiding reality isn't going to make your life any easier. It's best for you to face it and acknowledge that, sis, you are not a ten, and it's not that men are trash. TN said, is that, that ain't a filter? That's not a filter. She has a whole page. <laughs> she has a whole page with her supporters. Like she, okay. She had, she's the one who, I think they were on that one podcast. I don't remember the name. And she was like, oh, I'm a certified bad B as her occupation. And it's like. And, and, and you know, you know, um, and also she said, she did say on the pot. Well, I don't know what he or she identify as but she he or she is a trans individual and you know uh shout out to the lgbt community but regardless if this was a male or female this is unacceptable he or she is unhealthy uh you know if you're if this is a man i guarantee you um you know hopefully the money's long because you're gonna have to have resources to provide for the woman that you want if this is a woman, if this is a woman, you know, um, yeah. 
what what do you think her options are like being realistic not trying to not trying to um roast her or anything on the dating market what do you think her options are realistic um, options men, to... men that have men that have bbw fetishes that's number one um and and we're just talking about dating i don't if we're talking about marriage that's a hard question uh it's got to be a guy that probably makes a lot less than her uh, that's probably not that probably isn't doing much with his life um, and she'll probably take under and just be like, hey, you know, it's fine. Just do this and this for me and I'll make sure you're taken care of uh, because you actually appreciate me for me and not my size. Um, because getting a man with, of means slim, slim to very uh, to not happening. So. I think it was Six the Goddess had said on a podcast um, that that broke men date overweight women for a place to stay in so many words she said that and of course that video went viral and the the overweight women were upset at her but it's basically it's basically what you said usually when you see a man um with a woman like this then he doesn't really have all you know a lot of resources and she is the one that's um providing for him or giving him something where he's like okay I'll say that because because I'm getting something in return. But a man with resources and options, I mean, and it, and honestly, it's no disrespect, but it's just the harsh and honest truth. Something that in this day and age they don't be doing no more. Like they don't they don't tell the harsh and honest truth in society these days. We we say to calling her or whatever her. We don't say her because she called herself a, a, a um. What she said. A bad, a self proclaimed baddie, yes. Yeah. So, yes. women think she identifies as female, but um, you're not telling her that, like, yeah, you're beautiful, it's just that's a lie. That's, I mean, I mean, I come on, like, who gonna, who gonna argue the fact that she's not beautiful? Like, she's not. And we, we walk around in this society where everybody is a 10, and you should not tell somebody who is ugly that they're ugly, but you're ugly, like, it's no, it's no shade. If you fat, you fat, right? We gotta be pretty enough putting it up and talking about your big bone nurses, you fat. Like the more we we be the honest truth and, and we 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 be blunt with it and we just move on. Get out your feelings because you you fat. Like if you fat, you fat. Like there's no there's no denying that. Yeah, no and notice that you said um, uh, you know, a man with options. And you know, not in in and you gotta really listen to what to what's to what six gotta said. And uh, I actually saw that video and and she and she's right. And she's right. And you know, and we're not talking about like overweight, like you know, maybe like 20, 20 pounds, maybe. No, we're talking about like, you know, big. You know what I'm saying? And and you know, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And on top of that, men with options as far as men who get be with other women, men who, who, you know, not just men who have money, but men who actually are attractive to other women. So. Yeah. Um, definitely. If you can, if you can get somebody hotter, why would you settle for that? Like, and I feel like the more we try to avoid it and not want to have the conversation, the worse, the worse it is. Um, but we're going to dive in into the conversation. Shout out to Milton. Shout out to UFO. Thanks for being in here. Diving into the conversation. So this clip, I want to show. Of course, we're going to have to pause it a few times because of copyright. But um, if you guys... Oh, wait, wait. No, wait. Stick a pin. We have 37 people in here. We got 28 likes. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit the like button. Be sexy. Be sexy. Be sexy. Be Thank you so much for hitting the like button. Let us go ahead and watch this video. As I said, um, because of copyright strike, we're going to um, pause it a few times. But it's titled, Can Wait Make Your... Oh, sorry. Can Wait Make or Break a Marriage? Let's listen, y'all. It's a story we first saw in Red Book Magazine, <clears throat> exploring how a spouse's weight gain can put a strain on your marriage. TJ Holmes has that report. They shrink my clothes. It's a complex subject many married couples struggle with at some point in their relationship. Wait, just like in the movie, this is 40. Will you stop eating cupcakes, please? 
Red Book Magazine tackles this touchy topic in an essay titled, Could Your Weight Be Messing With Your Marriage? The author, who had recently put on a few pounds, was shocked by her husband's reaction. Well, why don't I pay for you to get a personal trainer? It will be a birthday present. He goes on to say, you'll feel better and I'll enjoy looking at you. I'm going to pause it right here. Because to me, that's the nicest way mm. you can say it. But she said yeah. she was shocked. Shouldn't be. I mean, be, because because they were they were she was probably comfortable with being who she was, and she thought he was too, but he wasn't because he knew if he was to say anything that she remotely thought was uh, you know harsh or crass, uh, she would probably take it the wrong way and it probably could get ugly. So, but. I, he didn't say it's harsh. He just said, let me get you a personal trainer. It will be a birthday gift. Her birthday is probably coming up. I see CC Natural in the building. Shout out to you, sis. Thanks for pulling up. I don't, I personally would, that, that's to me is the best that's way. That's the best way. I, I agree. I, I think that's the best way to, to put it. I mean, I don't think there's any other way. Uh, I mean, I guess another, I guess one of the other best ways you can do it is just having to sit down and say, hey, like, how are you feeling? You know, you know, just, just uh doing a back and forth and then explaining why you have that conversation you know what i'm saying and i also think it's important for us to not get too sensitive we can't be sensitive especially when it comes to our spouse uh, i know of someone jesus christ i know of someone who her spouse was like you know um you gain in a little way and how he said it um and if if, if you're watching, shout out to you, but I'm telling this story. Um, how he said it, he was like, her, your stomach is sticking out more than your butt. And granted, we're, we're island, we're Caribbean. So, you know, we're very straightforward. We're very mm -hmm. stern. We don't, pre, we don't sugarcoat things. So him being an island person said, um, your stomach is sticking out more than your butt. No, I started laughing when she told me that because I thought she was telling me as a joke and she was actually offended because she was like, is that how you talk to somebody you love? And I was like, yes, like <laughs> that's how he's supposed to tell you. Like, um, but you know, she didn't do anything about it, ended up gaining even more um weight. And because she reacted like that when he said it, he like he just stopped saying things. He like stopped bringing up her way or you know, suggesting anything. And um and she she decided, she ended up gaining more weight. But my whole thing is, as I, as I said on a couple of streams ago, I'll sugarcoat it, but you'll probably eat it too. Like there's no way to tell somebody that they need to lose weight nice. Because if you say it like, oh, you know, you look good. You just need to lose a little bit more weight. All they're going to hear is you look good. Like the harsher, the personally, I think the harsher, the better, because then it will. Of course, I'm not saying, oh, you look like a fat pig. You should just, you know, I'm not saying bully them. <laughs> I'm not saying bully them, but you can be harsh with love. And to me, when he said your stomach stick out more than your butt, like that was a way of him putting a joke in there, but also telling her, hey, you need to get in the gym. With this guy saying, I'm about to pay for a personal trainer. What? If my husband tell me he's going to pay for a personal trainer, I'm like, yes, please do. Because it's a struggle out here. And you know what? You know what? It don't even have to be me the one training you. You know what I'm saying? You know, I get paid, you know, I get paid helping other people. But if if you don't want me to tell you because you might feel like I'm attacking you, I'll have somebody else tell you to do it and leave it at that. And I'll let y'all be. So I think I think he played that very well. So you say you will have someone else tell your wife that she's fat? Um, I will say it first, but I would give her the option to say, hey, do you want to work out with me? Or do you work out? Want to work out with another trainer? I'd want the other trainer to be preferably a woman, me personally. Uh, but however, if 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 there's a trainer out there that gets the job done, do your thing. You know, it's it's, it's up to her. Uh, I'll let her make that decision because I don't want to seem like if she if I'm training her or if she's working out with me that I'm always going to be. You need to do this wrong, and I don't want to. I don't feel like dealing with that. I don't. I don't want to deal with that. Um. I am, I'm, I'm the opposite. Like my husband, if I'm getting fat, well, I'll know, but you know, sometimes life happens and you gain a little bit of weight and you don't realize it. Um, I need for you to tell me straight up, hurt my feelings. Let me cry at night because in that tears, I'm a, I'm a good, not, not too, morning. not too, not too many, not too many really think like that though. Unfortunately. So. I know. I know. 
Um, but let's let's continue. <clears throat> For parents Cara and Chris Whiteley, weight has been an issue of contention during their 10-year marriage, even if rarely discussed. It's something that I carry with me every day. Literally. And so it's hard to find just the right time to talk about it. Cara, weighing 360 pounds at her heaviest, says she swallows her feelings with food rather than discussing them with Chris, a marathoner who has never struggled with weight. It's really a difficult subject for me to... So you see, okay, okay, okay. I got to pause it right there. Because you see, that's 360 and your husband runs a marathon? Runs marathons? Like, come on. I ain't gonna lie. 360 is insane. 360 is insane. I'm curious to know what her weight was when they first got together. Now, now if it was 360, he knew what he signed up for. But if it was less than that... What happened? I agree. I agree. Um, the, the the narrator said over the years, she was struggling with her weight over the years. I'm assuming that she was always a little bigger, but three. <laughs> three, si you're, 360 is a circle. Yeah, 360 is a circle. That's crazy. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm I'm trying I'm trying I'm trying not to look. I'm trying to go to heaven, man. I'm trying to go to heaven. I'm trying to go to heaven, y'all. She signed a 360 deal. All right, okay. Y'all play right. too much. All right, y'all y'all play way too much. All right, um, but no, uh, you know that 360. You're close to 400 pounds, man. You're close to 400 pounds. That is, I mean, I I'm 165. That what's what's too tough? That's twice my body weight. I wonder how much the husband weighs. The husband, if he runs marathons, he's a skinny dude. He probably weighs about one seventy. He probably weighs about one seventy. She's two of him. So I I just don't understand the dynamic between a husband and a wife when the husband runs marathon. He has to be disciplined. He has to be you know um, strict with his diet. And he has to be training, especially training for a marathon. Oh, my gosh, that takes a minute. Um, you, you have to train probably like a good six, eight months before the marathon, um, as, depending on the, the, the distance. But I just don't understand the dynamic of your husband getting up every morning to train, eating right every day. And you got to 360 pounds because for... For me, like being in the household with somebody who is disciplined and then, you know, okay, snacks are limited, you know, like I want to spend time with my husband, but he at the gym might as well go with him too. Like, I just don't understand how they even got to this point. And to his credit, like she did not influence him to gain weight or, or at least I don't know. Let's, let's continue and we'll see. But um, 360 is definitely a circle and... As you said, Dominic, if if she was 360 when um, they got married, he knew he, what he signed up for, so he shouldn't be trying to change her now. I bring up with my husband about Wait, let me how rewind it a bit. I'm really feeling and how I'm really... Wait. It's really a difficult subject for me to bring up with my husband about how I'm really feeling and how I'm really doing. Chris says it's been a learning process, but now they know how to talk about the taboo topic. We've become better communicators over time about it. Wow. <laughs> okay, we've already started the discussion here, TJ. Yeah. Um, I want to go back to their wedding picture. Because Talk about the taboo topic. Really We've become better about how I'm really feeling and how I'm really doing. Chris says it's been a learning process. <laughs> but now So she she it looked like she was already big at um the wedding. Like she was up there for the wedding. So it looked like I said probably this is something he walked into. Yeah. Yeah, Christine said she was big in the wedding picture. Shout out to you, Game Changer. Now they know how to talk yeah, about I the mean, taboo topic. We've become better communicators over time about it. Oh, that's her wow. before and after. <laughs> okay, we've already started the discussion here. TJ's <laughs> back at the table. Wendy Walsh, relationship expert. So there's no question that this kind of change can really affect a marriage. Well, the important thing to understand is that weight gain or weight loss is never intrinsically something that stands on its own. It's connected to self-esteem, and that affects the relationship. It's, it's connected to emotions, and that affects the relationship. Mm -hmm. 
that University of Arizona study found that if the woman in the relationship is overweight, they tend to argue more than a healthy weight couple. And more so if the man is overweight. Well, you know, we give men a whole. So, okay, that's an important point. I want to touch there. Dominic, what's your thought on that? If the woman is overweight in the relationship, it causes more argument than if the man is overweight. What do you think? Yes, it stems It stems from one word, uh, insecurity. Uh, it stems from one word because because when you see things like that happening, it's it come it kind of comes off the argument kind of comes off as a projection to a degree, because especially if the man is physically active like the husband is, he's being cognizant of what he's putting in his body, and if it's not the same way the other way around, of course it's going to be friction because those two people are living two different lifestyles. And, and it's the insecurity, as we know, women are more um, emotional creatures, so we tend to be a little bit more insecure um, with certain things. I, I do understand why if the woman is overweight, especially if the relationship didn't start off like that, if she was skinny when the relationship started and then she gained weight throughout the, throughout the years, I can understand why it will cause, it will lead to more um, arguments and then you know, we know men value, and the, the lady is going to talk about this later in the clip, that men value looks. And Hold and on, time out. Value. Somebody said he damn sure didn't carry her over the dress. I know, line. I you saw that. Y'all are just. Live from NYC. Come on, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> we, every, man this is some bullshit. <laughs> everybody in this chat has a one-way ticket to hell. <laughs> what Kevin said me say? I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell. I'm trying to tell you, y'all. Just... Where, where, where's the Kevin Sammy where he's, where he's wiping his glass? Where, where... Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, like, you know, we're trying to have a serious conversation. Hey, hey, look. Hey, look. Nightwing. Live from NYC, all of y'all. I see. I'm. I look. I look at the comments the whole time we on here. Y'all ain't right. But go. We can keep going. I'm sorry. We. I just. I just can't. I can't help but wang to exhale. Cold blooded. Cold blooded. Cold. Y'all ignorant as hell. Y'all. We try to have a serious conversation. No wonder they don't like us over here. <laughs> but let us continue. But I mean, I mean, all jokes aside. All jokes aside. It is true, though. It is true. Like, come on. You know he did not carry her. Right? It, it, you, you, and you know what? <clears throat> you know what? And, and it's one of those things, you know, we, we got to be honest, y'all. I know we're joking, and I know we're we're making light of everything. You know, we're having fun with it. And it may come off as, you know, we're being, you know, rude. But, I mean, let's be real. You have This is something you can control. Like we said on the last broadcast, only 12% of American people, not factoring in race, socioeconomic status, only 12% of people have a thyroid issue where their weight is literally going up and down, where and they're and they're gaining a weight that they can't control. You have control over this stuff, y'all. I can't wait to hear more. You know what? Let's just continue. Shout out to Brianna Faye. Thanks for pulling up in here, sis. Let's go. Can't bring y'all nowhere. Let's <laughs> continue. Hall pass because females and males have different mating strategies. When men choose a partner, they choose youth and beauty first. Below that, they choose loyalty. Women choose resources first, then intelligence, then kindness, and then, oh, looks down on number four. So we let you get a little paunch, but don't lose your bank account. So don't, get, <laughs> don't get fat and lose your job. Exactly. You got to pick one. But again, th we're in a no-win situation. And, you know, I, I want to I wanna insert that, too. Um, a lot of women are attracted to, like, discipline. Too and and we all know that's associated you weight weight how you maintain your body maintaining your health especially if you're building muscle that's a huge sign of um, self control and discipline and that's attractive in women um so like that too you 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 lose your discipline you fall off as a man you lose your discipline you fall off there there's gonna be some issues especially that's my thing if I met you and you were looking like I don't know who is the rock. I don't know. We're just using him as an example. And then two two years later, you're looking like... Fat Joe. 
Exactly. I'm, are we going to have a problem? You pull up looking like Rick Ross after the... <laughs> I'm two, two, two years later, we're going to have a little problem. And I'm sure vice versa, because I, I'm attracted to muscle. And then you got rid of your muscles because of laziness for no other reasons. Um, if, of course, if something happened, if it's an injury, you know, a parent die, something traumatic happened, of course, that's an exception. But if it's just you, oh, I'm, I'm off the dating market now, so I can just let myself go. Well, no. That is messed up. And I think women do it more than men, but we we come we call in all both sides today. Yeah, and in in the the woman made a good point. Women and she said it with no hesitation. Women go for men with resources first. That's their first go-to. Let's be honest, y'all. When you know, we can go back to not just Kevin Samuel's show, but other shows and just and just interviews of what people are doing. And let's be honest. Women go for resources first. Looks are, are, are probably fourth on the list. Resources, provision, protection, and uh, and providing. That's those are the top three. So you know, looks. You know, I've seen dudes who are. You know, why do you see some celebrities who who probably aren't the least bit attractive to a woman to to most women's standards, but you see them with some of the finest women. They have status. They got money. They can provide. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's a perfect example. That's a perfect example if we be honest, because he he's got money, you know. He, you know, you know, he's got money, you know. He he's got status. He's seen in the public eye, and he can protect. And you know that that those are the things. You know, look, and if they with him, you know, looks are probably. Last on their list because they're looks not on the list. What do you mean last? Looks not even on the list. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, but but yeah, that the, that woman made a really good point because us as men we go for looks. We're visual creatures. So and I and and shout out to shout out to Bella. I always remember the conversation we had that the misunderstanding of masculinity. Like as women, we don't understand just how much men value looks and if we get to that understanding where they value looks as much as we understand we value a man's ability to provide then maybe then we will you know keep our looks into consideration we will pay more attention to our looks shout out to celine said never let never let yourself faller than your wall <laughs> never let yourself be faller than your wally <laughs> hey this is true sis this is true <laughs> big up yourself thanks for supporting all right let's continue you can't say you can say you're supposed to have this conversation. I can't go home and tell my way. This fine, sounds fine in theory at this table, but at the dinner table at home, I can't say, honey, I'm not attracted to you really because you put on some weight. We That's just right. cannot that do that. That is the thing you should not say. But like any sticky conversation in a relationship, you have to make a communication sandwich, which is a layer of love, a love, a layer of something hard to chew on, and then another layer of love. So it's honey. I love you so much and you bought the most beautiful children into the world and right. you are the sexiest woman. But you know, I think we need to be healthier as a family and work out together oh, that was good. Um, because you <laughs> are hot to me and I want you always to be hot to me. Okay. And, and I want you to be healthy. Let's focus that's on right. the health. Of the health piece hotness, is very, very health. important. That's and, as good as it gets. I'm still not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I, don't that, I don't know if that will work. I don't know if that will work because as I said, he buttered her up too much. He's telling us you look hot. So, I mean, if you're telling someone who you want to lose weight that they look hot, they're not going to, they're not going and, to do it. And if you butter it up, they're going to eat that too. But They're uh, going to eat it so, too, especially so with, with sugar on it. You know, so how she said it was, I think generally that works. I think that generally that's fine. I, I'm not going to disagree with the woman on that. I disagree with Buddy, with the, with the man who, who was like, well, I just don't want to, man, have a backbone, man. Have a backbone, bro. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if you're not if you're not satisfied with what's going on and how and how you know how your partner looks, let's flip it. If you didn't look to their liking, how would she react? How would she tell you? You know what I'm saying? How would that come off to her? So you know, it, you just gotta you know you gotta. But but that's why I say I disagree with her. Like you shouldn't have to butter it up. You shouldn't have to say it nice. You should have a backbone and say it straightforward. If you yeah. don't lose the weight in six months, I'm stepping out. Like, but and, but honoring it up and saying, "Oh, you're so beautiful. Yeah. You brought these kids." She's not a child. You don't have to talk to her like that. Yeah, and you know what? I, I'm with you. I'm 100 with you. 
I, I'm just I'm just saying if I was on the other side of the argument and saying, you know what, you know, for most people, you know, depending on who you're with and for, mo- for, the, for the majority, I think you should just, you know, use that general template if you don't know how to explain it. But for me personally, I'm getting straight to it. I'm getting straight to it. I'm not cutting. I'm not. I'm getting straight to it. I'm, I'm with you. So I mean, yeah, because the the person who I mentioned earlier when her her man told her that her stomach was sticking out more than her butt, like she got upset and, you know, they turned off the communi- communication. There was no possibility of him ever bringing up weight and working out with her ever again because of that. So maybe if he had buttered it up, then maybe he could have bring it up again. But I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of a trainer where it's like... Uh, Listen, we don't have to beat her on the bushes. Just go. Go to the gym. You, 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 um, you fat. And then also, let me say, this is a conversation that y'all are supposed to be having before the, the um the marriage, anyways. So and, and I'll say this too. If 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 you know, if you know this person does not work out like at all. Now, if she, now if they do something, now if they, you know, go to the gym regularly, I say twice a week. Give them a chance because if they work up to that, that's cool. But at the same time, if they don't work out at all and they don't practice any type of health habits, they drink soda all the time. They don't drink no water. They don't have no health consciousness. Don't even involve yourself because what's going to happen is you're going to try to get them to do it after you've already committed to it and everything. And it's not going to work out because they're already setting their ways and they're going to look at you and be like, well, you was with me when I wasn't doing this. So why are you telling me to do it now? That's that's a part of the change that you shouldn't try. You shouldn't try to change people that include in their um, lifestyle. If if you're dating somebody and they're not in the gym right now, trust me, when y'all start dating, they're not going to be in the gym, especially when y'all start that happy. You know, every every new relationship gain a little five to ten pounds. I know. Right? When, when things are going great, especially around Christmas time. Oh, Lord. So, you know, um. If y'all not, if she not in the gym, him or her not in the gym before y'all met and it's not a habit before, then it's going to be hard to, um, it's going to be hard to convince them to, 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 um, develop that habit. As, um, Katie said, lifestyle change is hard. Yes. And she has to do it on her own. No amount of convincing her is going to let her do it if she's not doing it on her own. The most you can probably do is maintain your lifestyle, go to the gym, work out, and hope that it is um, it will motivate her. But no amount of telling her to go to the gym is going to make her change. Big Up Yourself Live from NYC said, you have to have a tell it like it like you see it personality from jump. <clears throat> You can't be pandering to her for years and years and then switch up mm -hmm, when her weight gets out of hand. That is a, that is, that is a point right there. From the beginning of the relationship, you have to be like very straightforward because she's not going to, she's not going to take you seriously. Once you try to be straightforward when years have passed, big up yourself live from NYC. Thanks for being in here. Y'all, this is an important conversation because it's an uncommon conversation. Because it's triggering. And it's uncomfortable. And it's uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. But it's true, though. It's true. Ah, It burns. It burns. All right, let's continue. (laughs) <laughs> so for my birthday, Andrew gave me a trainer and I was not offended. I mean, it was, I was excited about it because I it was something I wouldn't have done for myself and he did it for me so, yeah. and he did it in the right way. He didn't, How did he do it? How did he do it? <laughs> he just said, I know you really want to get back into the gym and here's the way to do it. So, okay. Yeah. Because I, I actually did needs. say I wanted to get to the gym. So, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Well, he listened. You don't have 30 listening. pounds to lose either. So it's well, yeah. not a yeah. conversation. Isn't that <laughs> safe though? That's Amy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you can do that. This is just I honestly feel like stuff. giving me a vacuum cleaner. I honestly feel like that's the best bet. If you're in a relationship and your wife or fiance or girlfriend um is gaining weight and you want her to lose some weight, I think the best thing you can do is get her a trainer, gift her a trainer. Um, for her birthday, for Christmas, whatever. I mean, as a trainer, I have a trainer. Having a trainer is just, it's just easy. The The hardest part is maintaining your diet, maintaining your um, your nutrition. Dominique's information is the link in the description. If you want to get her a trainer, um, reach out to Dominique. But I think that's the easiest way to do it, to go about it. Just gift her a trainer and, you know, see where it goes from there, especially if she complains about her weight. 
cleaner. I'll tell you that. <laughs> and vice versa, though, if, if a woman notices that her husband is is not quite as healthy the as he might have been, same conversation. The conversation should be about couples getting healthy together as a family, because there's also some research to show that if only one partner suddenly loses weight and gets in shape, divorce Ooh, rates go up because you're got to be a family project. It's got to be a family project and about health. Even if one is fit and one is a little overweight, it still needs to be a family project. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah so. because you need to support your partner. But even yeah. when you use the code word healthy, uh -huh. you know, when you, when you yeah. do that, you know, well, I would leave these out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I would stop because I remember L.A. Barrett has said that too one time he had called up and I think he were on the panel, Dominic, and he said that, um, you know, if one partner is going to the gym working on themselves, being healthy, being disciplined, and the other partner isn't, that's eventually is going to lead to divorce, which I mean, is understandable. It's, I mean, it's predictable because it's um, unequal yoke. Yaki Awakening, um, shout out to Yaki Awakening. He had, Yaki Awakened, he had an interview with uh, 19 Keys and he mentioned relationships and how uh, couples break up because of lifestyle choices and how they differ. You have one person who's vegan, who's alkaline and who's, you know, trying to be, uh, one lifestyle but then you have another you have you have the other person in a relationship who's you know not eating so healthy and they're just doing whatever they want to do and they have no structure and whatnot eventually those lifestyles are going to collide eventually there's going to be a meeting of the minds in the worst way and eventually they're going to break up because you want to be with somebody who's more like-minded who's more uh who's more on your page and so he, he made some really good points it's a really good interview um, especially if you're not like, a, if, if you, if you are like addicted to the gym, it's not like you're working out once in a while, but if you like go to the gym at least five times a week, ain't no way that relationship is going to work out. Or if you're trying to develop that habit, you know, you need the support. Support is the main thing. That's why for my, um, <clears throat> for my fitness business is fit is, um, nutrition, fitness and support because support is the main thing, especially in the, your household, you trying to clean up your diet, you trying to change your lifestyle. I saw y'all in the chat saying that diet is the hardest part. Yes. CC Nacho said the diet can be a struggle. You can be in the gym workout for hours. If the diet isn't clean, you're not going to see your results. And the diet comes with the support, you know, the support helps because imagine your family eating pizza and you over there eating a salad when you're used to eating pizza. It ain't going to last long. It's not and, gonna last long. And, and and you know, if your partner, if your partner isn't even at least considerate of your lifestyle, says, Hey, look, I'm eating this, you know, but I know you're eating like this, I got you this, because I know, you know, or we're gonna have, you know, we can have separate meals, but we're still gonna eat together. Or we're gonna have similar meals, I'm gonna fix this, but I'm not gonna make yours like this. I'm gonna make mine a different way. Even things like that go a long way. Because if your partner just like disregards and like, well, I'm getting peace, I don't know what you get. Or well, I'm getting fast food. I'm getting Chick Fil A. You can eat your uh, salad. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it it's kind of like it's kind of like when you hear that coming from your partner. You know, you're thinking, dang, like does this person I care about my health? They're like, man, I'm trying to give them suggestions. I'm getting healthy food from the store, and you're not, you're not being uh respectful or considerate or even you know or empathetic of you know what I'm doing because I'm trying to help you out. And you don't want to change, and eventually it's gonna it's gonna be a, a bad ending. Yeah, one hundred percent. I remember when I used to live with my sister, and she would come home with all these snacks, and I would like it would, and you know, I'm a snack like I snack, so it's not like she can't bring the snacks home and then I not snack. Like you know, if it's there, I'm gonna eat it. And we used to get in like a lot of back and forth over it because I'm trying to lose weight, and you're bringing in these snacks. So I can only imagine if it's like your spouse, somebody who you, I mean, I. My sister support me, but I'm not expecting her to support me as much as I would expect like my spouse to support me. And as you say, if you tell your spouse that yeah, you're on this journey, but they keep on coming in with junk food, they keep on eating unhealthy food, it's gonna have you question their loyalty. Like, do you not care about my health? Especially like for anybody who know, especially any newbie, once you start the gym and you get in that habit and you start going and you get that obsession with the gym. Every day, every second you're thinking about it and then to have your spouse or your significant other over here bringing in snacks, especially your favorite snacks every minute they're over here with chocolate and stuff, it's going to piss you off. And I can understand why that will cause some tension in the relationship. Snuggles, for two years, Snuggles been asking to drop the link and I have not seen Snuggles click on a link yet. Snuggles, fool me once. Shame on you, fool me twice. Shame on, no, what was it? It's fool me one time, shame on you, fool me two times. 
shame. You can't put the shame on me no more, or something like that. <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> you know uh, Jay, the J. Cole sign. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. Fool me, fool me once, shame on, shame on you. Fool me twice, twice. shame on me. Fool me three times. Well, you can't get fooled again. You can't get fooled again. <laughs> can't get fooled again. Big up smuggles, those I dropped the links. You, so you, I can you know you. what? I see a comment. Jay McClain made a really good comment, and I want to read it. I want to read it. Where I've is always, it? Wait, let me find it. Jay McClain. Oh, hey, Jay. I've, okay. I've always watched my weight. My dress size is six. Intermediate fasting plus keto works for me well. Uh, works well for me. I want to look good for my husband and feel good for me. Happily married for 26 years. The part that gets me that I really want to highlight is I want to look good for my husband. Now, now I know um, a lot of women are going to think, why you want to look good for your husband? You want to look good for yourself. What's wrong with looking good for the person you're with? You know what I'm saying? What's wrong with that? You know, if especially if you're married and that's your husband, of course you want to look good for your husband because that's the one that you're laying down with. That's the one that you're seeing every day. So why not? I remember in the summertime, I got dragged on talk, TikTok sick because I said I work out to make my man happy. I, I, do, I don't like cardio. Everybody know this. So I do my 20 minutes of cardio to make my man happy. And I got dragged by those hyenas on um, TikTok. Oh, my self-esteem is low for working out. <laughs> I mean, it's my man. Why would I not want to look good for him? Like, it's so backwards. Like, you ask the question, would you lose weight for your man? And you, it's like you, you're telling them about their mama. It's yeah. crazy. And and you you know, I I heard a, I heard a couple I heard a couple women on a few uh, panels say. Oh, you working out for your man? You might as well just be a slave. And I was just like, "Wow, wow." Well, call me Kunta Kenta then, she, she, because I'm I'm sorry, you hit me if you must, but I'm working out because especially, especially like as we said earlier, men are visual creatures, and I don't mind my man going out and saying, "Oh yeah, that girl looks good," but my girl looks good too. You know, like, but to say to go to be like, oh yeah, my that girl look good, and then you come home to a three hundred and sixty pound circle, and like, you, you know, and and I and I'll flip it. I'll say the same for the fellas, fellas. There's there's no way your woman wants to come home to a man that's lazy and undisciplined and and doesn't, you know, has a stomach. Man, come on, man, come on, man. Do do better, man. You know, you you. Yo, woman. Now there are women who say I like dad bods, but then you turn around and they cheating with a dude or messing with a dude that's <laughs> that that goes to the gym six times a week. And you know, they, you know, when, women want to see their men looking good and disciplined and going to the gym. Um, you know, because they want to feel your muscle. They want to, you know, you got to have abs. You know, you gotta you gotta look good. You know, for each other, man. That's 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 always been my thing. Um. The, I mean, it is a turn off when a man is doesn't have some kind of like activity, like you know, he, either he lift weight or play soccer on Sunday, or you know, do something. Cause like, what else you do? Like, what do you do? Or like, you know, do some yard work or something. Um, but especially if you just sit there at home and you rather play video games than go work out or go play basketball or something. You know, like I like I like an active when men are active. I remember saying, like, you know, man's supposed to man's supposed to do something, like, you know, lift weights or something, do something, man. But to just sit there. And that's what I'm saying. It goes both ways. It, it definitely goes both ways when it comes to letting ourselves go. Especially, as I said earlier, if you met your spouse when they were fit and then they lose themselves, like, come on now. We're, we're almost done with this. <laughs> well, you know, it starts It starts with conversations about the feelings, always. Yeah. What is causing the weight gain? What is going on in the relationship? It's not just about butter in the fridge and TV shows and you sitting on the couch. It's about what's really going on in the relationships that's causing people to eat. Communication. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That was some good tips from her. She definitely went dived into that topic better than how we could have. Um, and, you know, the first things that she mentioned when she started talking that sometimes weight gain comes from some kind of emotional eating or something like that. Like the lady in the clip had said that she she eat herself. She carry she carry her weight with her and eat herself. 
Um, so maybe having a conversation, but then I also do strongly believe that accountability is on the individual. Yeah, your partner can hold you accountable and, you know, watch your back and make sure that you are um, on the path of being the best version of yourself. But it's still your responsibility to do the necessary, necessary work and not slack off, even if you slack off for a while, because there have been times when I... Four months pass and the gym don't see me. But, you know, you always have to be like, okay, snap outside and get back into it. Know what's important um, and get back into it. Shout out to Jess. Jess has said, I recently moved out of my boyfriend's house because of his unhealthy lifestyle. Wow, I'm training for a bodybuilding. Oh, bikini. Shout out to you, sis. Competition and his lifestyle was toxic and unhealthy. First of all, congratulations on your bodybuilding competition. It takes a lot of discipline. It requires a lot of broccoli and Man. this that I am not about. Man, I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. Being disciplined in sports is one thing, but being you know being disciplined for bodybuilding that goes down to the gram. That goes down to the calorie and the gram. Man, good for you. Good for you. Shout out to you. You know, you I hope I hope you do well in your next body bodybuilding competition. I've seen it firsthand. That thing is not easy. Like, especially closer to the closer to your show day when you can't even not even an extra ounce of water you can drink if it's not <laughs> if your trainer don't tell you to to drink it. So definitely shout out to you for even signing up for it. I've been pressured into doing it. And I was like, mm-mm, because -mm, I know my, mm -mm, mm -mm. I know my discipline level. And I just know maybe if I put my mind to it, I could do it. But I'm not interested in putting my mind to it. <laughs> so big up, big up yourself, Jess. But um, to the point where she said I had to move out of my boyfriend's house because of his unhealthy lifestyle. Like, yeah, that's tough right there. And you know what, Sue? And this is a, this is a, a interesting segue because... Technically, say Jess and her boyfriend started out and they both had unhealthy lifestyle. Technically, Jess was the one who switched up on him. Technically, she was the one who, you know, started acting brand new. Like he's maintaining the lifestyle that they, they met. And, um, you know, you, you the one who started doing something different, even though it's something healthier, yes, and something that will get you to the best version of yourself. But you, I mean... With the next video we're going to show, it's hilarious. And I'm waiting until L. Turner come in to show the uh, Martin Lawrence clip. L. Turner, if you're in here, let me know and I'll show the clip. But the next video we're going to show, it ties in well with, um, with Jess's comment. Now, I have to say, disclaimer, the Hodge twins can be a little harsh. So, like, if you're sensitive... Drink some water or something because the Hodge twins don't they they don't have no filter. And I'm not talking about new age Hodge twins. I'm talking about back in the days Hodge twins where they say some stuff where you 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 gotta wonder like, are you allowed to say that in public? We won't watch that. But before we do, if you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit the like button. It's Yeah, Life from New York made a point. Life from New York said, I don't blame anyone for weight gain, but I blame everyone for refusing to lose the weight. Some people gain weight too easy. I gain weight too easy, man. I eat a cube of ice and I gain weight. But it's like you have to know and you have to, like you can't get too complacent and you gain the weight and you're like, oh, just whatever. So you have to be intentional with it. But shout out to y'all. Thank y'all so much for hitting the like button. Let's go ahead and watch this stream as i said they're a little bit harsh but they're dropping gems yeah just got another email and shout out to the hodge twins tilt action going hey let me give me some tilt going man tired good tilt going tired of this email email hey, what's wrong with you man you act like you can't talk uh, my girl email you put an o in that bitch <laughs> Title of this email, my girlfriend won't lose weight, which means she didn't swole up. Got some damn hippopotamus action going. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with a girl putting on a little meat, man. Yeah, a little bit. Feels good in the bed, man. Just, just a little bit. You don't want no damn whale in the bed with you. Yeah, you don't want no damn walrus in the bed with you. <laughs> yeah. You see, you this is mind. what I mean by they're a little, they're a little, they're a little bit extreme. 
But um, as you say, you know, he don't mind. I'm fast forwarding it a bit because it's a 10 minute long video. They're basically saying they don't mind if their girl put on a few pounds. The girl put on a few pounds in that 10, 15. But when you hit 40, is it too fast? Out of hand. Hi, Hawks. Watch watching the videos from the beginning. I'm put it. Is it too fast? Oh, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Okay. 28 year old guy, and I've been with my one for four years now. Yeah, man. Good times right there. Hope he gave some stats. We started a relationship while we were smaller. And throughout small, <laughs> you a fat ass too, huh? <laughs> we were smaller and throughout have gained about 50 pounds each. 50 pounds? 50 pounds. Hold up now. I was in high school. I got out. I was a buck 60. 50 pounds, 210. That's pretty much where you at now. That's pretty much where I'm at now, man. Now, if you was kind of thick in high school and you put on 50, oh, you a straight refrigerator. Yeah, you yeah. a frigidaire. You you walk around that house. What's that big ass refrigerator? You, looking like a damn Viking refrigerator. Yeah, you walk around that house walking like a damn walrus. Yeah. Just you, rolls, just throwing your ass around. You see, this yeah, is, you this ain't got one in your refrigerator. I can't. This is what I mean by like the the um they just keep throwing shots. <laughs> I mean, golly. The guy called in for advice, and then they start roasting the guy. Like, and I and I, I feel because I've been watching Hodge Twin since probably like 2010, and I feel like maybe that's why I took Kevin Samuels. Um, like I was able to watch Kevin Samuels because when they're ready to roast you, even though they're giving you advice, when they're ready to roast you, you better you better bring your I don't know, just cry. <laughs> but let's continue. You got two doughs. All she time. was already a thick okay. woman. Yep. Yourself, Simply, yeah. man, if you're in high school, if you're a muscular guy more developed and you're a female, you're more developed than earlier than the other girl, usually you turn into a walrus in about six months, six years. Yeah, ago. if you don't take care of yourself. If you don't take care of yourself, you put on weight real quick. Like a, like a two-year class reunion? Yeah. Nothing but walrus is there. Yeah. All right, look here. And the people that were skinny, like the guys, they, they like me now. They got all kinds of game. Girls, they ain't got no tits, no booty. Now they looking good. They looking real good. Yeah, they, they, they age like a fine wine. You, you ain't seen your best years. She was already a thicker woman in a good way, of course, but now it's getting out of hand. He said, yeah. "Out of hand." It always starts in a good way. <laughs> over the quarantine, I, look over the quarantine. I've See, lost that's the point too. It always starts in a good way. And going back to what the conversation we were having the other day, when people Habits. were like, "Oh, I wasn't as bad when I was one sixty five, when they're like, "Oh, you weren't as bad, yeah, but I was a few pounds away from being a walrus, right? I was a few pounds away from being a refrigerator. Like it's, it always starts as a, it's not that bad." And because you continue the eating habit and you don't work out, you eventually become bad. 75 pounds, and I'm not in the greatest shape of my I've lost 75 pounds, man. He's heading in the right direction. Yeah, he's, that deserves a salute. He said, uh, over, I, and I'm in the greatest shape of my life. He put not now. I think he meant he's in the greatest shape. I've lost 75 pounds. I'm I've always asked her to go to the gym when I go, and she won't. Her diet. It's terrible, and she tried to change it, but won't be consistent. It makes it harder to stay on track. I love her, but I'm getting hit on a lot, and seeing her like that is discouraging. <laughs> you got a hot girl at the gym. You come home, she just sitting in the corner eating a damn pizza, eating a burrito with hot Cheetos in. It. <laughs> hey, just let her just don't change it, man. She be dead in a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> just let her go. And just just let her be, man. <laughs> Nature's just go work itself. <laughs> look, I, that damn heart's gonna explode in that damn chest. Look, I love her, but. Nature's gonna work itself out. Golly. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's actually right, which is the funny part about it. Nature will uh, eventually work itself out. <laughs> you know, the hot girl at you at the gym is staring at you with the you go home and she over here tearing up a, some burritos and nachos. Ain't that some shit? <clears throat> No, nah, but um, it's true though. It's very much true, and um, you got you get a lot more options when you start um, working out. You start looking looking right, and you start feeling yourself too. And then you you go home, and you know it's like you're feeling yourself, and it's like this is what you come home to. I mean, on both sides, both sides. But so you know, it, they're not lying. I mean, they they they're roasting the hell out of her and and the the guy. But it's not a lie. It's not a lie, especially the part where he said woman at the gym start hitting on him i mean i mean i don't know about y'all but there's nothing like working out with your significant other like when you both can go to the gym together and get a good workout in and then grab a smoothie or a side bowl after it's like that that's the best thing and I've, i'm pretty sure every gym rat desires that and to have woman at the gym <laughs> to, to have woman at the gym 
that's there that he can imagine working out with. And then, but his woman is at home eating a and you know, And you know what? It's it's funny that you bring that up because the gym I go to, you know, I see a lot of couples in there and they're both in shape and they're both at the gym laughing together, enjoying it, you know, working out hard and really pushing themselves to be the best version of, of, of each other. And, you know, as a couple, and to me, that says a lot about the dynamic of the relationship because they probably, and I'm not saying this is true for every couple that works out together, but they probably tend to have better communication. They're probably more honest with each other. They're probably more supportive, uh, more uh, just just overall, you know, they're more cognizant of their health and they're, and they're more uh, open to saying, hey, look, I don't like that you're doing that. You know, you need to be more healthier or you need to do this better or that better without any, without it being offensive. But if you're not working out together, if you're not spending that type of time together, it's going to be harder to work through certain things, especially things that are uncomfortable and that are really personal. Exactly. 100%. Like be, being in the gym with your partner. And then as we were touching on, on all the panels, like you get to see his leadership and then you get to see how she takes your leadership, especially if, you know, you, you're training her and stuff. Um, I've been there where, you know, I work out with my partner and stuff. And it's just straight roasting, a straight roasting session, you know, straight. But, like, it's fun. Like, you know, it's it's really exciting. And Dweeble said weight gain means you have gotten comfortable in your relationship. Never get too comfortable. And then especially, and this is why I personally would prefer working out with someone who is more who is more fit than me. And this is why I get a personal trainer, you know, who is more fit than me and who can push me and motivate me. So to do the extra 10 minutes on the cardio or to do the extra 10 pounds on the squat, you know, like, um, and then for a man, when you have your woman in there, you want to show out, you want to put the extra plate on just because your girl is in there. You know, it's like, it's, it's, Couples, couples who work out together stay together. Like I, I strongly believe that. That's why, I, I, yeah, I strongly believe that. But let us continue. <clears throat> Go ahead. Well, you, you know what? It's it's also a thing of um, oh dang, I just had a little time. And let's be honest, the sex is better. Let's keep it a buck, y'all. You know, we're all grown. The sex is a lot better. You know, for example, I'll just say if the man is out of shape, ladies, y'all know damn well. You know, I hear about this thing of, oh, I need my man to have stamina. Part of having stamina is being in shape. And if your man is eating McDonald's and pizza and all this other stuff, you know, consistently in his diet, he's not taking his herbs or his or, or not uh, eating his fruit uh, or drinking his water or working out, of course he's not going to last no 10 minutes or five minutes. Of course, you know, it's going to be uncomfortable and he probably not going to do what you like him to do. And then, you know, I'll even... Uh, the point that the point that was made about um, you know one person not being as ambitious uh, to do things, I you know you hear a lot of women say I you know in terms of a man with money I want him to be more ambitious, I want him to do this. Well, think about think about uh, a man's a man's currency and resources to a woman. A woman's weight and her looks is the same thing to 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 how a man's currency is to a woman. It's the same thing. If he sees that she's not ambitious to stay fit. And to stay healthy while she stay with her, you know, or if she sees that he's not willing and ambitious to make more money and to provide for himself and the family, why should she stay with him? You know, it's it's a it's a balance with that. One hundred percent. And and as, as I said, it shows discipline. So with a man who oh, a point that I wanted to make earlier um if a man isn't disciplined, no, to the point where you had said, um, would you work out for your man? A lot of men go to work for their woman. A lot of men, you know, will, will work that extra shift for their family. So why would you not work out? And I mean, come on, nobody going to tell me, working out is much easier than working. Especially if you're like a blue collar, I'm not, mm -mm, mm -mm. working out is much easier. So if you're going to say, okay, he works he works for you while you work out for him. What is so wrong with that? You still you want him to pay 100% of the bills. So the least you can do is do the extra 20 minutes of cardio. Like, come on now. Come on. All right, let's continue. But I'm getting hit on a lot and seeing her like that is discouraging. She gets upset with me that I look good and she knows. What? She's... See? See, y'all the grew apart. You trying to do good with your life. You trying to stay healthy. You're eating right. You're watching how you look. And she's actually talking down to you. 
oh man, that's just she gets upset with me that I look. And good you know that that part right there, she gets upset with him that he looks good instead of going in the gym to look good too. That's just straight selfishness there. And then going back to Jay's, going back to Jay's um com comments. I have a lot of my friends are bodybuilders and majority of them refuse to date until they're done with their bodybuilding career. Because unless you meet somebody who is also a bodybuilder or who is supportive, like a they lot of these work. women, it's not going to work because it requires fasting cardio in the morning, weight training and afternoon and cardio in the afternoon. It requires um, posing. It requires you doing the walking. It requires you meeting with your coaches. Like it's not going to work if the person is not at least a bodybuilder or supportive and to the to this man's comment, like, how on earth is this woman gonna get mad at him to to um because he's he is becoming the best version of himself? It would have been different if she was already fit and he was already fit, and then now he's trying to do something else. But sis, you over here with a burrito and hot cheetos, and you're gonna get mad at the man for going to the gym. Like, come on now. She needs he need to cut her off. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's continue. Wait, you wanted to say something? No, right, not at all. Not at all. And she knows she's big. What should I do? Mm -mm. Just say, look, man. Oh, look, ninety nine point nine percent of all relationships end in a train wreck. Yeah, or a heart attack in her case. People just people just move apart. Y'all 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 not compatible. Yeah. Y'all gain. Shut up. Let me do some damn talk. Y'all gain all this weight together. Yeah. Right. Y'all in the bed making bacon. All you hear is a bunch of clapping fat. <laughs> Right? Two said, walruses going out. Two walruses going out at it. Right? Oh, that damn clapping. I remember I got to bed with a big girl. Man, it's too much clapping, man. <laughs> and I try to slow it down, man. It gets worse. I'm just barely pumping. I smell like I'm, sound like I'm slapping her. <laughs> I'm like, yes. <laughs> Over there, hold up. I warned y'all that the Hodge twins are not for children. Okay. He, you paused it right on his face too, like right, like right there, like just right there. You know what I'm saying? He, <laughs> he has a look of he has a look of despair and just damn, like I can't wait for this to end. And he over here laughing at him, like, yeah, man, you shouldn't miss that big girl. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all the Hodge twins so, something different. I absolutely love them, but um, he not lying. He not lying. He's not. He's not lying at all. <laughs> Hey, look here. You cool and all, man, but it's just too much clap action with you. <laughs> hey, look here. Um, man, leave I mean, my fat ass, man. <laughs> Life is too short, man. How are you going to make somebody be healthy and lose weight? How are you going to tell exactly somebody to stop eating? I mean, mm -hmm. y'all just grown apart. Y'all yeah. just no longer compatible. So I would just, you just go your separate ways. I mean, it happens all the time. You're not married. You don't have any kids. Yeah. Just what you can do, you can try to help us. You're going to have to be a strong man. You're going to gonna have to, man, if, man, just walk away. Just try to uh, you make can try her, a little intervention there. Yeah, because if she doesn't like something about you, she's going to try to change that to yeah. make her happier. And then, man, just try to do what you can. Hey, 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 let me say this. This is how you know things is over. Hey, you come. Hold on, pause mm -hmm. it right there. He says something very important. He said, if she find if she saw something that she didn't like and she wanted to change about you, she would go out of her way to change it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and that is a hundred percent true. And we can use money as a simple thing. Because at the end of the day, you you probably not making the money that you make now with the woman that you with. But I guarantee you, one day the question is going to come up. When are you going to make more money or or how else are you going to make more money? Or what are you doing to do it? It's going to be asked in some form or fashion. And it's the same thing as if, are you going to work out? Are you going to look good for me one day? Are you going to put on this dress for me one day? It's it, it's the same thing. So that that's a that's an excellent that's an excellent thing he said. 100% like I mean I mean I understand that I think differently so um I just don't understand like why would you not want to put on a dress and have your husband say dang you know have your husband lost that like come on man come on and there are a lot of attractive women out there as I said he is going to look but when he looks at least he know that yeah but my wife fine too so you know I, I look but I, I, I'm okay I'm gonna just go home to a fine wife it's 
I, I don't. I, why would you be okay with your husband being more attractive than you? And that's something I always say. You y'all not gonna catch me in this lifetime with my my man being more attractive than me. I'm gonna do my best to, to keep up with him. Like I'm gonna be in the gym trying to do my best to be as attractive as my husband, especially if we both started off attractive. But let's continue. Because if she doesn't like somebody, she's going to try to bit. change that to yeah. make her happy. And then, man, just try to do what you can. Hey, 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 let me say this. This is how you know things is over. Hey, you coming home working out, right? You making all these damn games. You prepping all your meals. She's sitting at the table making her own meals and then making you a big-ass plate of that slop she eating. If she don't change and she's making life more difficult for you, <laughs> hey, man, you beating that dead horse. We've been over this. Man, they've they been together for a long time. I want to see him work it out. Man, that horse dead. You still kicking it. So you think she you tongue think. hanging out the horse's mouth? You kicking? You still kicking? The horse dead. Why you keep beating that dead horse? Yeah, in her case, she's like, shut up. Her main artist is clogged. Hey man, stop bragging on her, man. She's no, a good man. person. No man, she 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 trying to bring a good man down. That's what, what she doing. Her art is all clogged up. She trying to clog his shit up. Anyway, good luck to you. It's on you. <laughs> I walk away. <laughs> but before I, you go, I go shut up. I, I, I go to jail. That girl hit on you. <laughs> I do some clapping her. Hey, Kevin, um, every time we do this video, I want to ask all you, so let's make this one quick. Yeah, because they're a bunch of freeloaders, man. They freeloaders. All right, that was the end of that. Um, what what would you do in that situation? Remember, they've been together for four years. I'm out of there. Yeah? I'm out of there. Yeah, I'm out of there. There's no, it's, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. I mean, if if you weren't doing it four years ago when we first met, then yeah. how do I know that you're going to do it now? And, um, to but and to you know to the dude who who sent him that email, he should have figured out. He should have had a better discernment and figure out what her habits were from the jump. Now I will say this: if they both weren't doing anything and he decided to muster up the discipline and say, "Hey, I really got to change," and he was trying to say, "Hey, come on, change with me," and she didn't want to do it, you know, hey, I don't blame him. I'd walk away too, uh, regardless. So. This is for me, that's tricky because like they both had unhealthy habits and they both weren't doing it. And he's the one, just like I said earlier with Jess, Jess is the one who decided I'm going to get healthier. So like you can't be acting brand new because we both were like this. I mean, the, I mean, the relationship is this. I mean, you know, I want to be optimistic, but it's best to just walk away. But it's like, I feel bad because... You were the one who switched up. It would have been different if you guys both were working out and then he or she stopped working out and, you know, gained the weight. But technically, you are the one who switched up. I think in this situation is an example of them just growing apart, having different priorities and just having different um, goals in life. Um, I think you can avoid this by being with someone who is already on a certain level of always wanting to be a, the better version of themselves, you know, always wanting to level up, always wanting to do better. Um, that way, if you start doing better in one aspect, it's more than likely that they're going to be motivated to do better too, because I'm not going to see someone improving, especially someone I'm close with, you know, especially someone I'm in a relationship with improving in something that I also need to improve in and not get motivated that means that she was lazy at her core. So I, that's why I, I will fault him there and say like, yeah, because especially if they're living together. And as I said, the, the first clip, when she's 360 pounds and he is a marathon runner, like, I mean, that's most, I remember I'll share this story real quick. My freshman year of college, I started college summer B. So I started in June and the roommate that I was supposed to have was a runner because we had, you know, they, they sent each other's information on Facebook and um, she was a runner. And I was like, okay, yeah, great. Cause this will motivate me to run every morning. She get up and go run. Um, I'll go run with her. Cause you know, we, we in the same room, like, you know, but she decided to start college in the fall instead of summer. So the, the roommate I ended up with, we were in there every day eating pizza, every day eating hot wings, Domino's pizza. And we, we are still friends to this day. So we always laugh about it. And I would always say like, damn, I was supposed to get the fit roommate instead of get the fat roommate. <laughs> man, and, and you know what, man, the people you're around can can really mm -hmm, can really help, mm -hmm. can really change the trajectory of what you do in your life, man. You know, if you surround yourself with, 
with four with four people who don't really have those type of habits, you're going to be the fifth person in that group with the same habits. So. And on the flip side, if you surround yourself with people with those habits, you're going to feel left out. And because of the fear of missing out, we're going, you're going to pick up the, um, the healthy habits and you're going to want to get it together. So, I mean, that's I said, I blame the guy who wrote the email for dating someone who is not, um, who is not necessarily for lack of better words, like obsessed with becoming a better version of themselves or who is easily motivated when it's, um, when it's time to level up. But for the life of me, I can't just, I can't imagine having your man going to the gym and um, working out and getting fit and you over there just gaining and, weight. I cannot. And you know what? It take, All it takes is one time for, for, one, for one decent looking woman that look better than her to come up to him and say, hey, you know, are, are you using this machine? Oh, what's your name? Oh, that's all it takes. It's over with. It's over with. Shoot, a one decent looking woman asked for a, a spot on the squat machine. And that is, that is, <laughs> that is man, it right there. <laughs> man, it's over with. And then, because cause you, cause you know after they done, he going to ask, hey, what, what's your name? Oh, or she, one of them going to ask, what's your name? Oh, okay, okay, what you working on? Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, if you see me around, what's up? And the more they start seeing each other in the gym, the more, the more they start talking, the more, you know, that eventually they're going to exchange numbers and then it's going to go from there. I mean, we all have a gym crush. That's the thing, too. Why would you be comfortable with your man going to the gym by himself when there are gym crushes around? Like, come on now. Come on, ladies. Gosh, to be, gosh, to be more careful. You're slipping right there. Um... But no, it's a hundred percent facts, though. I think I think we and as we say, you know, this is uncommon conversation. This is um, this is uncommon <laughs> life from New York, where his gray sweatpants. Are... <laughs> He's trying to throw some bait. <laughs> hey, man, live from New York, man. Chill out, chill out, chill out. Don't don't get arrested on your way out the gym, man. I look, look, look. I hope you're wearing drawers to the gym. I hope you're wearing drawers to the gym, man. You don't don't be out here catching no cases in the gym, dog. They going they really gonna call you a creep on TikTok. They we gonna see somebody getting arrested and walked out out of a LA Fitness. Um, as as we were saying earlier, every every gym goer, um, wants that relationship where y'all work out together, especially if you're committed to the gym. I'm not talking you go to the gym once in a while. I mean, like you're committed to the gym and, you know, to, to have somebody to spot you or, you know, have somebody to motivate you or in my case, have somebody to roast you. <laughs> um, so, you know, it, the roasting inspires you to to, um, to live. I know the roasting be inspired me to live with. Not, not even relationship-wise, just my friends who I work out would be roasting the hell out of each other in the gym. And, you know, it's like, oh... I remember once um, one of my friends wanted to do three plates, a 345 on the chest press. And I was roasting the hell out of him talking about, I've never seen him done three plates or nothing in his life. And that roasting motivated him <laughs> to hit the three plates just to show me up. Tell, right? <laughs> tell, telling you, let, let, a, let, a, let a woman let a woman I admire, a woman that I'm cool with tell me you can't lift this and that you look, you look weak. Okay, challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. But but they be roasting me too, so it's fine. <laughs> but <clears throat> no, like ladies, just just be mindful of it. Like your man going to the gym, your man getting fit and you getting fat is just it's it's I mean it's a recipe for disaster. L turn, I wanted L Turner to be in here when we watched this last clip, but he's not in here. So big up yourself, L Turner, if you're watching the replay. Thanks for sending me this. I thought this was hilarious. We're not going to watch a full. It's just a, like a 30, 32 second clip off it. Let's hear what he's saying. All right. You didn't talk to me about it. When you first gained five pounds, okay, that was cute, okay? I'm going to admit. I'm going to admit that, okay? That was cute. But 75 pounds got there. What kind of fucking fool you think me for? My motherfucking ankles is still swollen from the last time we toyed around. <laughs> look at you. Oh, God, look at you. Okay. That's hilarious. Um, and I think 
Hodge Twins has said it too, where, you know, gaining five pounds is one thing, but 50, 75, 100 pounds, that's just disrespectful right there. Let, let me ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. I want to ask a question to the chat, uh, to the men. How would you feel if your woman weighed more than you? You know, and if she did, how much more would you be fine with her weighing more than? So, for example, so for example, if if your woman, so say for example, there's a man, if his if he was like 180, but his woman weighed the same as him, or a little bit over, like 190, maybe 200, would you be fine with that? I personally did not go weigh more than my. While we wait for the chat to, <laughs> Corey said, "Nah, she's my ex-wife." No, she's my ex-wife. I'm not gonna weigh more than my man. Greg said, "Not at all." Um, woman, woman never made more than I. My oh, that's my woman never made more than I did, so she shouldn't weigh more. Interesting. Carl said, I'm 6'4, 200 pounds. If she weighed more than me, I might as well date a car. <laughs> oh my God. I swear. Yeah. Life from New York said, um, she can weigh more than me only if she's 6'10. Oh my God. <laughs> so that means you need to get a WNBA player. That's what I'm hearing. But hey, you know, what do I know? <laughs> I know I personally, I, I wouldn't want to weigh more than my man for, for obvious reasons, you know, like he can pick me right. up as the, as we touched on um, earlier when they said she did. He definitely didn't pick her up. <laughs> um, yeah. Jay said, I just asked my husband and he said he wouldn't feel too good about it. Yeah. I just like, how, I mean, yeah, come on, man. It's just, it's just, even, even if, even if you're taller than your man, you still shouldn't weigh more than your man. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. 100%. And, um, you know, and, hey, I, I, I would think the ladies wouldn't want to weigh, you know, more than their man. But, um, you know, do you think do you think most women nowadays are, are accepting of weighing more than their men today? Yeah, most definitely. I think they are. Um, they will say things like, "Oh, it's because you're intimidated by a woman who is way, who weighs more than you." Um, I mean, they'll be making all these kind of excuses just to stay fat, you know. Um, and there's a there's a different. Esso says some of us like them thick. There's a huge difference between thick and fat. Huge difference. See, see, here's the thing. Would see. Okay, so let let's go ahead and put this to rest because I see a lot of comments like this and. This is nothing towards SO, you know, the the the, the fella in here. But here's the thing. Um, here's the thing. You can say, oh, it's you know, some of us like I'm thick, but let's be honest, bro. Let's be real. It's getting to a point where thick is becoming unhealthy. Let's just be honest. And you can say, you know, well, I don't want a chick that's small that looks sick or is built like a little boy, which is very weird to say that, uh, which is very you know, that, that's not that's not how you're supposed to say that because um, that just sounds flat out wrong. But it's like, why not want somebody who's healthy? You know, why not? Why not want somebody who's a certain size? So when you have children, they don't blow up and get bigger than what they already are. You know what I'm saying? So be mindful of what you're saying and how you say it and saying some of us like I'm thick. I'm not in that song, sir. I'm sorry. So. And I find that I find that majority of men who support my channel aren't in that some. I understand that there are some people who want um, fat women, but um, they the forward thinking where it's like, okay, once she have kids, she's gonna gain weight. One thing I observed though, especially after I did the stream, um, when people were saying that I look I looked better fat. Um, in the black community, we think that you're either thick or fat or extremely skinny. And um, you look you look like a crackhead. Like they don't understand that there's a there's a healthy in between where yeah you can I mean soul train you know back in the in the nineties eighties when they used to like how they looked in in the the videos like they weren't skinny like you know crackhead skinny but um, they weren't they weren't fat like they are now 
Um, and it's very limited for us to think like that where, okay, you're either fat or you got some meat on you or you're really, really, really skinny. Like there are women who are just regular, <laughs> you know, regular size. They're not skinny. They still got a little booty, um, but they're not, you know, they're not thick. I mean, it's that's why I say it's important for us to travel, read a book or two, um, get outside yeah. of our, our box. Because, I yeah. mean, you yeah. know, in the black community, we tend to be so black or white on so many topics where it's just like, you either baby mama or you got multiple abortions. Or it's like, that's it. Like, yeah. <sighs> no in between. <laughs> no in between. But I had posted this poll on my, um, my channel. Say your spouse gained over 100 pounds and they refuse to get on a diet and exercise program, what would you do? 546 people voted. The options were file for divorce, cheat, or accept them because beauty is within. What would you do, Dominic? Filing for divorce. With Filing the quick. Okay. No, there, I mean, yeah, there's, there's no, I mean, there's no other way to put it. I mean, go, go back up to the question again. Let me see. Let me make sure, let me make sure I'm not tripping. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, we're filing ASAP, ASAP. Because they refuse. Matter of to... fact, matter of fact, I wouldn't be surprised if there were men who had a weight clause in their in in their in their prenup or their marriage contract. I wouldn't be surprised if that was to ever happen. I th Honestly. I think that. I think that forward thinking men would do that. But, you know, men who are like, oh, some women, like, let's take. I think, I think, again, we move so nonchalant when it comes to weight. It's like, mm -hmm. like the, the men who have options that we touched on earlier, and uh, maybe some, some men who weren't raised in a community like many of us were in the black community might have that weight clause. But, you know, a lot of these women, their mama, their mama big bone. So why would you, why would you not take your wife big bone? But, all right, so I'm going to vote for you. You said file for divorce. So of the 574 people who voted, 64 said file for divorce. 21 said cheat. And 15% said... I don't agree that. with that. I don't agree with that. 21, 21, the 21% who voted that, no, that's not, that's, not the right, that's not the right way. Don't do that. Don't, do don't that. cheat. I mean, I understand I why they would cheat, though, especially if they have more to lose in the divorce, like say they didn't have a prenup or something like that. And they they decide that, OK, if I get a divorce, I'm going to lose. I'm going to have to pay alimony. I'm going to have to pay child support, lose half my pension. But I'm not physically attracted to my wife no more. And I don't to the point where I can't even have sex with her. Um so I understand why they would cheat. Um, but again, as I said, it just depends on um I, it just depends on on the situation you're in. Listen, Esso, um do you? <laughs> we touched on it earlier. Like there are some men who like bigger women for whatever reasons. Earlier we talked about if you want to sleep on her couch or whatever, you know, if you if your mama was big. Um, over here we tend to focus on health though. And um, as I said, majority of men who are forward thinkers think, okay, well, if she's this big now, especially after kids before kids pardon me how is she going to look after kids and there are a lot of men in situation i know a few personally who their wife was skinny wife was was you know fit petite not fit but you know on the petite side granted they didn't work out and then after a kid or two they blow up and then now he's not physically attracted to her i'm not saying every single man on this earth is supposed to be attracted to to um fit woman we're just over here just like how every every single woman on this earth is not attractive to a, a masculine man. There, believe it or not, there are some women on this her who, who want one of these. Like they're literally going out to look for a thing, right? <laughs> so I mean, just just nobody's not trying to pressure nobody into dating fit woman or a healthy woman. We're just having a conversation because we like minded people who want to be the best versions of ourselves over here. So it's like, do you? I'm gonna answer a question that So just dropped, and I'm gonna answer it. No, it's not being superficial. It's not being superficial because here's the thing. It's not about, yes, it's about looks for for for, for some of the reason, but but we're talking about health, bro. 
if you paid attention to the conversations that we've had the past few weeks, we're talking about the end goal of being healthy. Yes, looks are going to play a factor because if you look fit and you look you look slim, you look good, you everything is defined and you're healthy and you're eating right, of course you're eventually going to look good. But we're talking about health, bro. Think about it. you can say, well, you can say, well, uh, you know, the, there's guys who like women bigger, but do they marry them? Let's keep it a buck. Do they marry them? And if you look at the numbers of marriage of how black women are in in conjunction with the weight and the health that we're in, they match up, bro. So let's be real, man. Let's let's be honest with ourselves. You can say we like them, be you can say, yeah, we have fun with them. But let's be real. Nobody's marrying them. And, and then also are, yeah. go. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Finish. No, go ahead. Um, also, like um, two things I was going to say, a lot of men who are like, oh, I like women bigger. Um, they wouldn't let their daughters get to that size. They wouldn't let their their family members get to a get to an unhealthy size. So it's like, yeah, you like um, women bigger, but um, you know that your loved ones you wouldn't allow them to get as unhealthy. And then two, um, no matter how bigger women, <clears throat> pardon me, no matter no matter how bigger women want to front and pretend they're not confident in their skin. Hello. Like they're very insecure there. Um, and it's very telling because look at Monique. You remember when Monique was big and her, all her stand up were about skinny bees. Like she would always talk down about she, skinny she women. Was like, she was essentially projecting. Exactly. Exactly. If you're so, if you're so proud of your bigness, why you always got to be looking down on skinny women? And I, I come across that a lot, especially um, being in the fitness industry where a lot of big women will just um, say, oh, I can't talk because I don't know what it's like to be big. And, you know, they'll just say some very, like, disturbing stuff towards me. And it's like, well, dang, obviously you're projecting. Obviously you're insecure. But they'll get on their social media talking about, oh, fluffy is better. Well, you constantly yeah. comparing yourself to a fit woman, then clearly you're not um, you're not happy with your weight. Um, cutting edge cartoons, big up yourself, cutting edge, that it's not the weight – it's a complacency. This spreads to attitude, laziness, non-accountability. Shout out to you, Chantel. Big up yourself. Yeah, it's, it's, and I mean, I stereotype. I probably don't be the only person on this earth who wants to admit that we stereotype, but we all stereotype. Whenever I see an overweight person, my subconscious mind is going to think, okay, that person is lazy. That person is not going to follow through with stuff. They're going to probably have an attitude. I can't trust them. If I was hiring for, for whatever business, chances are I would probably not hire an overweight person because their, their um, size is just a reflection of their lifestyle. They are not disciplined. They don't care enough about how they look, about how their attire. It's just like if you, you're going, you're not going, y'all ever see these public defenders on TV where they just come and they just look, and you, you know, they don't care. You know, you're going to lose. Yeah, come on, just book, book your day. Like, you know, you know, um, what you, how you carry yourself says a lot about, um, your lifestyle, your discipline and stuff. Anything you want to add? Yeah, no, you're you're saying everything is true, and you know, mm -hmm. here's the thing, um, you know, a, a a lot a lot of people, a lot of people gotta realize that you can say, you know, you can hear dudes say, "Well, I like big girls, I like big girls." Okay, well, that's fine, but are you gonna marry him? Because you gotta remember, you're marrying into a lifestyle of of laziness. Uh, you know what what the person, you know what that what the person, the comment you just highlighted. You're gonna you're gonna marry a person of laziness, a person of non accountability, a person of insecurities, projections. It's gonna be it's gonna be like walking on eggshells, dealing with that person because you're you're gonna have to you're either gonna succumb to what they got going on and just join their lifestyle, or you're gonna have to grow out of it and switch up for the better. You know there is no middle ground. You know it's only gonna get either worse or better. Yeah, that's why I'm confused that the couple that the first couple we watch how she's 360 and he's a marathon runner. Eventually, eventually it's gonna clash. When they talk about unequal yoke, it's not just about religion or anything, it's your lifestyle. And um to have a lifestyle of being healthy and, and watching your way and being disciplined, it's more than than 
<clears throat> health is important, but it's also discipline. Have a lifestyle of being disciplined and then have somebody else who just eats, eats, eats and who, who is content with being unhealthy. It's sickening. And then how are you guys going to raise kids? Like, what are you guys going to teach your kids to eat your greens and vegetables or eat your green starbursts? Like, I mean, but, you know, this conversation should go without saying um, it is whatever. As I said, um, we, we're not trying to change nobody's mind. Like what you like, you know, like the high blood pressure, like the the um, the heart disease, the stroke, everything that comes with obesity. Funny enough, um, I saw a post the other day. Justin L.A. Poe or just Justin, whatever, the, the toxic page. And he was like, um, you know, in the black community, we need to prioritize our health. It's time for us to stop to um, on big or back or something like that. And people in the comments were like, well, some some big people are healthier than skinny people. And like, you know, they come up with all these excuses. Fat is never healthy. All right. Fat is never not, and this is true, not because you're skinny doesn't mean that you are healthy, but there's still a 50-50% chance that, okay, you might be healthy if you're skinny. If you're fat, especially obese, you're not healthy. Lizzo is not healthy. No matter how she can um, step to the side, there's a difference between being fit and being healthy. That's another misconception I'm realizing that um, a lot of people have too. Just because you can um, lift weights or, you know, you can step to the side like Lizzo can, doesn't mean you're healthy. There is this one really big girl who is, um, she does yoga. She's fit, but she's not healthy because fat is never healthy, no matter what anybody want to say. I'm going to leave y'all with that. Anything y'all want to leave the audience with, Dominique? Um, not at all. You know what? I appreciate everybody tuning in every week. Uh, you know, me and Chantel, we, the, pre the preparation that we put into this show uh, prior is, you know, we, we take our time with this and we, you know, we have our own things going on. We're balancing a lot of stuff in our own personal lives. So, you know, I appreciate everybody tuning in and, and remember y'all, you know, you know, find somebody who's on your level as far as discipline, accountability, and health. You know, I'm not, you know, if, if you're with somebody who's not doing what, doing their, doing their due diligence in their own personal lives, as far as health, you know, be direct, but be respectful. Be direct and be respectful about your approach and understand that, you know, they're not going to have the same work ethic or discipline as you. But at the same time, don't sit here and deal with it if you can't, because if you can't, it's only going to get worse and it's going to eat you up. And eventually it's going to, you know, it's going to it's going to be a clash. So, you know, do what you want to do. Do what you do. If you like big girls, be thing or if you like, yeah, you know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but. Hope everybody's enjoyed this live stream tonight. Um, that that picture gets me every time, and you know. Listen, listen, but no, it's serious. It's a true conversation. Last week, last week, was about the big, big old running back. But it's like, I said, nobody runs in your family. But yeah, I mean, um, Dominic is, we're both personal trainer, but Dominic is more of a hands-on trainer than I am. Um, do you want to tell them more about, like, um, services you provide, Dominic? Hold on, you s repeat that one more time. Sorry, my, my, my audio is messing up. Services you provide for um, training. Oh, um, I'll, I do, I do, uh, personal, I do personal coaching one-to-one. -one. Uh, I provide uh, nutrition, nutrition guides, meal guides. Um, I also do workout guide, workout plans, uh, detailed day-to-day, -day, week to week, month to month. Um, I offer four month monthly ser four month services, monthly services. Um, I also do in-person training if you're in uh, the same city as me. But I'm about to start traveling now to people. So if you want to do online and or hybrid in-person training, please contact me, fill out the questionnaire, and I will contact you ASAP and we can set up your complimentary call. I'm accepting. I only accept a certain number of people a week, but please do not rush. Do not waste time. Get booked with me. Um, I also do consultations. So if you just want some advice, I also do consultations. If you just want a workout plan, I do those separately. But it, I would suggest you get the full on nutrition 
uh, everything. I track your sleep. I track uh, your steps. I track. I mean, I'm like the government of fitness. That's that's the new slogan. I'm the government of fitness. I watch everything you do. You can't get past me. If I see you miss a workout, it's a wrap. If I see you, uh, you know, putting eat McDonald's, it's a wrap. I'm going to find out. So please get with me, y'all. And let's 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 get healthy, man. Um, shout out to West for telling me that I was breaking up. It was my mic. That's why it wasn't your audio. But um, so y'all like Dominic is like different than me because um, as earlier the show, Celine was like she's watching and eating a cookie, and I was like, it's okay, girl, have a cheat meal. And Dominic was like, nope. <laughs> so yeah, I recommend Dominic services. Um, also like he does this full time. As I said, if you want that hands on trainer the person who has time to like watch you definitely reach out to Dominic with me. You, you comparing our services, you're not gonna, you're not gonna, um, it's depending on what you want. So if you want that hands on trainer, definitely Dominic is, is your go-to. Um, yeah, I see white wing is like, Dominic, I'm scared of you. <laughs> Don't be scared. We, hey, look, 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 put it like this, put it like this, you know, there's no reason to be scared of, of of living a better life. I'm telling you, I I, I make sure you I make sure you taken care of. You know, I'm gonna be gentle. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be very gentle, but I'm gonna be direct. So you know, don't don't be scared. I'm I'm real cool. You know, but but yeah, man. Get, Dominic is like, mm, I saw you ate three cubes of ice. Yeah, you tried it on two. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, you know. I and, and y'all, I'm telling y'all, man. There, it, it's all it's all. You know, it's all about this one, man. And I help people. I help people with that, man. You know, you know, I, I, we track all your calories. You track your macros, your caloric burn, your caloric intake. You know, I get you right all the way down to the to the minute of sleep, to the cal, to the gram, whatever you need. You know, we get it together. It's so funny you said that. I was watching a clip. Um, I don't remember his name. I'll share it on my community tab. And he interviewed five experts in the space. And one of the reasons why you might not be losing fat, especially belly fat, might be the lack of sleep. We might probably review that next week. He he's he has over like five million subscribers. Can't remember his name. I think it's Jeremy someone. I always binge watch his video. But you know, like educating yourself on these things make a difference. Y'all, um, Go ahead and hit the like button real quick. We can make it to 100 likes before the end of the stream. Live from New York in here getting us hungry, talking about no, no stuff for us pizza pies and no baby back oh my baby back baby back baby cat all my um all my the office fans do i remember that episode when they went to chili's with the guy with jane and michael went to chili's and they were singing i want my baby back baby back. <laughs> if you know you know but shout out to everybody who pulled up to this conversation this was a funny conversation because of the hodge sweat this was funny overall when matter was talking about 360 is a, is a circle yeah <laughs> Y'all go get us fired, okay? Somebody, somebody said she signed a three sixty deal. That that was that that was cold blooded, y'all. Come on, man. Come on, like, come on. Y'all go get us fired, come on, over. Man. Come on, man. That's that is insane. Y'all gotta y'all gotta be real, man. And and you know what, y'all? Um, like I said, I I, I hope you know everybody do what y'all do. If you mm -hmm. like big one, if you like whatever you like is what you like. But understand, there's positive and negatives to everything. And just remember what goes on and get the likes up, man. Send Chantel some on her cash app. You can send some to my cash app. I'm not tripping. Uh, but but man, you know, we we try to prepare every week for you guys because we understand that not everybody can afford a trainer, not everybody can 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 afford um, you know, the 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 help to get what they, they need, but that's why we're here. And it's, and it's to have the it's to have the straight and honest conversation. Not because you like fat women don't mean that fat is unhealthy. You yeah. know that we we can acknowledge that yeah, fat is unhealthy, but I like it though. Hey, as long as we can acknowledge it, I think our issue in society is that we try to to avoid the fact that fat is unhealthy. You know, if I'm toxic, I'm toxic. At least I know and I can respect somebody who's like, yeah, I'm toxic, as opposed to somebody who's going to try and um 
hide behind the bushes and 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 try to avoid the the accountability. Back to a shadow sister. I'm done for health, but I have a request to make a pineapple upside down cake. Oh. And a girl, it's your hey, meal. <laughs> hey, hey, put 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 my card put my card in that cake. Put my card in that cake. Whoever it is, put my card in there and then tell them to call me. Tell them to call pineapple me. upside cake. Upside down cake. Um hit though, I'm not gonna lie. You see? It's your cheat meal. Make that cake. <laughs> but but make that cake, but go work out tomorrow. Go work it off. But again, shout out to everybody who pulled up to this conversation. I personally enjoy this conversation. Shout out to everybody who supported the stream. Appreciate y'all so much. You got your money. He got money. We will be back next Saturday. Are we going to be back next Saturday? Yeah, we'll be back next yeah. Saturday. Yeah, we for definitely will. Continue the conversation. Don't know what we're going to be talking about yet, but um, we're going to be talking about something. Back to us, it's for my mom and stepfather. Yes, if you know you're going to take a little piece. Yeah, my mama and step stepdaddy can get on my can get on my training program also. But hey, look, nobody's judging here. <laughs> so take a little, you gotta take a little piece to taste how to taste how it is. Right? You gotta make sure that it's good. <laughs> Shout out to you, sis. Um, yeah, so we'll be back next week, Saturday, for another health and fitness conversation. As I said, both our contact information is in the description box below if you are ready for. Um, to get to your to your fitness goals and to stay there and to to do it from an honest place, from a, a straightforward place. We're not talking about no band aid workouts or no um no no fitness trend or anything like that. We're talking about real life, real work that will help you keep the weight off. Definitely hit us up. I, I think I'll be back tomorrow. I honestly don't know. Y'all know tomorrow is Mother's Day, so I don't know if 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 um you are a mom. Happy Mother's Day. Shout out to Happy all the fathers. Shout out to, all the oh. <laughs> Shout out to all the fathers who have to play both mothers. Oh, no. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, we're you didn't. The same, we're bringing the same energy, okay? <laughs> oh, man, Chantel. Oh, God. Now I'm about, to get, I'm, about to get hate, I'm about to get hate messages because of you. Oh, I'm about to get hate messages because of you. Oh. Shout out to all the fathers who be playing both roles. Happy Mother's Day to all the fathers who be playing both roles. We keep in the same energy. We <laughs> oh, stop it! Get some help. Stop it! Get some help! Get some help! Lord, you gonna have them come in my inbox and you hate women too. And I'm just gonna have to be like, yeah, sure, why not? I'll just go ahead and, uh, you know what, uh, might as well, might as well. My mama black, you know. I guess I didn't have my daddy in my life, you know, which I did. You know. We don't do that here. You know, <laughs> y'all play just way too much. Okay, enjoy your Mother's Day, y'all. I don't know if I'm gonna be on tomorrow. If I am, we're gonna have a conversation surrounding Mother's Day. If I'm not, I'll definitely see you guys on Monday. For spicy chat with Shan. Um, until then, I, I don't. Oh, I'll leave y'all with this. I'm always leaving y'all with this. <laughs> oh, fuck, ah! We will not have it. I said we will not have it. Oh. All that clap. <laughs> clapping. All that clapping. <laughs> Oh, Shout out to the Hatch Twins. I know All my right, man. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you. Peace. <laughs>